Hey guys, what is the cost of drafting at your local game store? And the reason I'm making this video is my local game store has pretty much plummeted into oblivion. I'm not sure what happened to it, but I haven't been there in maybe a month, a month and a half. And so I went there this Friday and they were playing Force of Will. They literally were playing Force of Will. They had Friday, instead of Friday Night Magics, they had Friday Night Force of Will. And I know that they missed game day which was interesting. They didn't have the game they play, Matt. And I know that the guy in the store, I don't believe he's there any longer, he did not order the pre-release stuff for the Eldritch Moon. So there was no Eldritch Moon pre-release. Hence, all the players of the normal store, when I went there, there was like 10, 15 players at f &M at the Eldritch Moon pre-release and they were all, and there were so many people who called about the pre-release but uh, because they didn't have it, they had to turn people down and that got into some heated discussion and all the people moved into the other game store. The other game store I like a lot. I shot a video there about the beta collection that was the game store and they're really friendly and it's not that I dislike them. Uh, and maybe I personally will move there too eventually. But as of now, I'm gonna hold steady and say, you know, so this is my second game store. I've been going to my friend's game store quite often because we're playing video games more often and we're playing Pokemon Go. And this place is not a Pokemon Go shop um, stop, but if you're willing to walk around in this like weird circle, like over pattern, you can get to four. You, you, if you walk around this weird over pattern, which um, requires you to like cross like a semi highway, it's not really a, a highway, it's kind of not busy, but it kind of looks like a highway. It's like multiple like lanes but there's like no one ever there, even on Friday night. And it's actually kind of creepy there. I'm not gonna lie, dude, it's, you could have located yourself in a better place, especially with all the valuables you have. But anyway, that's besides the point. And you make this loop. <laughs> what am I talking about? Okay, I'm still talking about Pokemon Go. So I've been there uh, for the last few Friday Night Magics and all Friday Night Magics are always just four people, six people, eight people at most and it's just friends, we're just playing video games, there's no like time limitations, no judge calls, there's none of this shit stuff, we're just having fun. Everyone gets a promo, most people don't even want the promos. So then I get like four promos every night. So I don't know what's happening to this place, but the draft costs $10, free pizza, all you can eat, pizza. I'm not kidding, all you can eat, pizza. And you get a boost pack even if you don't win, and the $10 goes into the prize pool. So if eight people were to play, they would all have a free buffet of pizza, cheese pizza, obviously, and pepperoni. They would all get, each one of them would get a boost pack, each one of them would get a promo, uh, at least one promo, if not more promos, um, and then $80 would go in their prize pool. So the store is bleeding money, just bleeding money from doing this, and still no one's willing to play for it. So I need to figure out what is going on, but leave me a comment below. What is the average price of a draft? I know in Australia, apparently magic cards are like so super expensive. And I would love to know like in Europe and London and I have subscribers, like I send mail uh, and the Patreon stuff has been sent for a while. It just takes a long time to get there. Uh, from Germany, I have a Patreon from Germany and Switzerland and the Netherlands and all these like places that like I need to Google map them so I can like, write the right address. I had the uh, Philippines and Malaysia and Japan. Like how much is your local draft and what offers you have and how many people are in it? And what would you recommend my local game store to do? Cause it really is a conundrum. I want it to do well. And to be quite honest, it should be doing well. It has a very nice place, it has a nice TV. The people are super cool and chill. It's a pokey stop. But $10 for a draft, so you get free boost packs, then you get another boost pack, so every player gets at least four boost packs. Then $10 goes into the prize pool, which is payable any way you want. It can be payable and um, you can use it for the pre-release, you can use it for whatever you want. And then promotes for everyone, because there's just not enough players, as well as your know, discounted product, 50% discounted product, and still, and free pizza, all you can eat food. And still, nada, like I'm shocked, to be honest with you. Um, and I can't figure out what's going on. Anyway, bye guys.